Hi, welcome to Click to Clean. This is a channel for all things cleaning and restoration related. I'm your host, Kyle Casper, and today I decided to make a video on how to properly clean and maintain and ultimately extend the life of your commercial Shaw carpets. So in the following clips, I'm gonna kinda of go through some documentation that's actually from Shaw, and I'm gonna give you some recommendations on cleaning solution, equipment, and even show you some techniques that you can use to properly maintain those carpets. So let's go ahead and take a look. Entry mats are one of the most critical and often overlooked aspects of maintaining your commercial Shaw carpet. The use of entry mats can significantly reduce the amount of soil that's carried in by shoes. It's recommended to have two types of rug, one for removing hard soil and the other one for absorbing moisture. If possible, place your soil removal rug before the moisture absorbing rug. Shaw recommends that the mats cover at least six footsteps to remove all the soil from the shoes. Shaw has a very easy to use frequency chart where you can identify the traffic level in a room and then determine how many times each cleaning method should be used. Let's talk about vacuuming. If there's one thing you want to take away from this video and forget everything else, it is vacuuming. This is the single most important decision you can make for maintaining your carpet. It's so important, in fact, that many experts agree that it can double or even triple the life of your carpet. In fact, research done by Shaw shows that up to 85% of the soil that's tracked in is dry soil. This means a vacuum can remove a very large amount of this. It's also recommended that you select a vacuum that's certified by the Carpet and Rug Institute. Be sure to maintain your vacuum properly and empty the bag when it's half full. Now we'll take a look at spotting. Now a full understanding of spot removal is beyond the scope of this video, but Shaw does provide some pretty good documentation that will kind of walk you through different spots and stains and how to remove them. Either use a Shaw carpet cleaning product or a professional grade spotting kit such as this. First, scrape up as much of the solids as possible. Absorb wet spills with a clean white towel. Always blot, never scrub. Scrubbing can cause the yarns to become fuzzy and fray out. Apply the appropriate spotting solution and blot. When you've reached a point of satisfaction, it's recommended you extract the area with a neutralizing rinse. This will extract out any cleaning residue that may attract soil. I recommend you speed dry the area with a professional grade air mover. This will prevent wicking and also rapid resoiling. Interim cleanings are basically a system you can use to manage the appearance of your carpet between deep cleans. The two most common types of interim cleanings are encapsulation and walk behind extractors. I'm personally a bigger fan of encapsulation cleaning because I believe it leaves the carpet a lot drier. Today we're going to look at encapsulation with a counter rotating brush machine. The basic steps involve a pre-spray of an encapsulation solution. The CRB machine will loosen any trapped soil from the carpet yarns and allow it to become encapsulated in the cleaning solution. This cleaning system uses extremely low moisture and can actually be dry to the touch in 15 to 20 minutes. Although there is a very fast dry time, there still is a cure time like paint, so wait at least 24 hours before you're vacuuming. Now Shaw does recommend periodic pile lifting. This CRB machine, although not a true pile lifting machine, can remove deeply embedded soil and capture it in renovator trays as seen here. Hot water extraction, sometimes referred to as steam cleaning, is the proper way to do a real deep clean of your carpet. We'll first take a look at truck mounted cleaning machines. These machines actually have their own engines or they run off the engine of the van. They are superior in almost every way to portable cleaning extraction machines. Because of the great amount of suction and heat these machines can produce, they really are the best way to clean. Truck mounts can only go so far, however, because they can only run a certain amount of hoses. In this case, you'd want to go with a high-performance portable carpet extractor. It's preferred this machine have at least a gold rating from the Carpet and Rug Institute. My personal recommendation is find a machine that uses at least two electrical cords. Although it's a bit inconvenient to find separate circuits, this means greater power for your machine. This unit has dual three-stage motors, which means you'll have better water recovery than a standard machine with one cord. Also, try to have a machine that produces heat. This cleans better and dries better. If you've got hard to reach areas that a truck mount can't reach, a portable extractor would be a good choice for you. I always try to use cleaning solutions that have the Carpet and Rug Institute seal of approval on them. For printed carpets, use a cleaning solution that has a pH between six and eight. Otherwise, shoot for one around 10, preferably nine pH. Again, a total understanding of hot water extraction is beyond the scope of this video, but we're gonna at least cover the basics. Our first step is applying an alkaline pre-spray. 
Next, agitate your pre-spray with a mechanical agitator. After a short dwell time of about 10 minutes, extract the pre-spray with a neutralizing rinse. Spend a little extra time in high traffic areas and use slow overlapping strokes. To reduce the dry time, you can even do dry extractions with the machine while not using the water pump. And as always, use commercial grade air movers to speed dry the carpet. The carpet should be completely dry within 12 hours. So hopefully you found those recommendations and those clips helpful. Now as the old saying goes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. You can take the small incremental steps to maintain that carpet and it will be a lot easier and a lot cheaper and it will actually extend the life of that carpet significantly. Or you can let the carpet go without it being properly maintained and then pay someone a lot of money to come in and do restorative cleaning. There's also the risk of letting the carpet go too far if you don't maintain it and it will go past the point of no return to where it cannot be restored and there's permanent damage. In that case, you have to buy new carpet. My goal is to help you maintain that, prevent that, and help you get the most out of your commercial shot carpets. So thanks for stopping by. Any questions, go ahead and contact me. Look in the description below and I'll have my information on there. Thanks, have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.